Will Lyme disease go away after treatment? I get asked this all the time. This is my common sense Lyme series based on what I see and what I get asked in my practice. I'm Dr. Daniel Cameron. Will Lyme disease go away after treatment? The short answer is sometimes it does, but not always. Many patients are faced with lingering symptoms. Early in my career, there were two large studies where at least one out of three had chronic symptoms years after their onset of treatment, and that's been uh, what I've seen in my practice. Sometimes it's influenced by delays in timing, sometimes in co-infection like Babesia, uh, diagnostic delays. Now, antibiotics like doxycycline are effective for some patients, but not all the patients. Oftentimes, I see patients get 10 days of treatment, two weeks, three weeks. Uh, I use 30 days, but even then there's treatment failures. Now, bullseye rash should lead to time and treatment, but I've seen people where the doctor is waiting for a blood test to come back. Even the CDC thinks that a bullseye rash uh, should be treated. Now, bullseye rash tends to be two inches to be official. Whenever it's like an inch or less, it's always hard to tell if that's an irritation from the tick. But a lot of patients never see a tick bite, never see a rash. When symptoms linger, it can be quite severe. The one out of three patients that were sick, uh, it was hard to tell uh, how sick they were, but when they enrolled people in NIH trials, they realized they were quite sick. Uh, many of them weren't working. They did poorly. They often had fatigue, joint pains, brain fog. Uh, some of the patients have been told they have chronic Lyme disease or post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome. I prefer not to using post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome because it's dismissed as a syndrome too, too often. Now, what is post-treatment Lyme disease syndrome? Some doctors are comfortable with this term in that they've been treated for at least a month if they're still sick, rather than uh, pursue a persistent tick-borne infection, it considered a syndrome. Uh, they hope that the patients will improve over six months, but if after six months, if they're still sick, they use that term. These patients have fatigue, brain fog, pain, uh, poor sleep, dizziness, and they often find it difficult to work. Now, it could reflect ongoing immune issues, but I find that a persistent infection is often overlooked, including Babesia. Now, what is a persistent infection? Animals show that Borrelia can survive antibiotics. Human studies find there's residual DNA or antigens. My concern is this residual DNA or antigens that are seen are from an active infection. There's no standardized test to detect uh, active bacteria. We just have to uh, include uh, a persistent infection as part of the, uh, a diagnostic concern. Now, why some patients don't improve? Sometimes because there was a delayed diagnosis, delayed treatment. They weren't treating for a co-infection. Some patients have an immune dysfunction uh, issue, but uh, I find that the, these type of immune issues can come from a persistent infection. Plus, uh, because the tests aren't that reliable, I have doctors who are reluctant to uh, treat with clinical judgment. What if you're still sick? Well, you should track your symptoms, track the flare-ups, ask about co-infections, Try to work with a doctor who is experienced in treating a chronic manifestation of Lyme disease. Don't accept those kind of expressions like you look good or it's just in your head. And plus, it's important to access for other causes. Can you still recover? Yes, many do, even after setbacks. If you revise the treatment plan, the look for persistent infections, come up with a tailored plan. The theory I like the best for what explains chronic symptoms are the persister theory. This is a theory where they learn from tuberculosis that you can feel good after a month, but there's persistent tuberculosis bacteria that persists and it takes a year, year and a half to get better. I don't go that long with Lyme disease uh, typically, but if I persist with treatment, I uh, can take someone who thought they weren't gonna get better and get them better. So the final word, if Lyme disease doesn't resolve with one course of antibiotics, if you're still sick, there are other treatment options. There's treatment options for co-infection. You're certainly not alone. Healing is possible. So thank you for joining me for this Common Sense Lyme series. If you have any comments or have any questions, 
please leave those below. I'll read them, and if I can, I'll respond to them. Thank you again for joining me.